Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Wanna note a major free title that has finally dropped on Steam. This is one from Ubisoft as well, so more of their games are rolling back out on Steam. We've got some free DLC that is available for another free-to-play title, Prime Gaming. For those of you that are subscribers, you can get a very, very notable game for free right now. And I do want to give you guys a heads up on a major PC game sale that is ending today from our good friends at Green Man Gaming. So we'll talk that at the end of this video. But yes, Trackmania is now available on Steam. This has been available on the Epic Games Store and Ubisoft Connect for a little bit now, but now it is available on a Steam directly. So you can download it, you can hop on through Ubisoft, and uh, you can play it yourself. Race solo or with friends, unlock medals, trophies, and prestige skins. Climb the leaderboards in the intense versus style rank mode. Race on wacky tracks in rail mode. Our 60-player showdown Crossplay and platform progression lets you play anywhere, ever-evolving content, enjoy new campaigns every three months, compete on track and cup of the day with tracks made by players curated, uh, join and manage community club activities and access car skins, online rooms, competitions, and much more. Creativity unleash, create endless possible uh, possibilities with the track editor, design incredible car skins, show off your skills with the replay editor as well. So Ubisoft's games have been slowly rolling back out on Steam, and uh, this is the latest one that has, of course, gotten a Steam release. I know the Ubisoft releases on Steam have gotten a mixed reception, to say the least. But um, in the case of this one, it is a free-to-play game, and uh, it'd be really beneficial for free-to-play games to be as visible as possible. So why would you try to relegate it to any uh, specific launcher? I don't understand, but nonetheless, in the case of Trackmania... It is now available directly on Steam. There's like a Ubisoft game that I'm totally forgetting the name of that would have been... Uh, it would have been very beneficial if the game was available on Steam right out the gate, but uh, that name is escaping me right now. Um, Roller Champions, Roller Champions, I believe, was it uh, was the free to play title that was available, but it was on like the Ubisoft Connect page, and you know you didn't have Steam, and it was just nonsense. Um, I believe that was the game. Don't quote me on that, but nonetheless, you should have these multiplayer centric titles be as visible as possible, and in the case of Trackmania, at least better late than never available on Steam now. Moving on from that, if you are a Cycle Frontier player, you'll want to know the Cycle Frontier Fortuna Survivor. That additional content is available right now. Only the toughest can claim to have survived Fortuna 3's a Perilous Surface. And now you can prove you've made the cut with a Fortuna Survivor pack, a full outfit pack, a unique knife, and some arm to cover your needs. Gear up Adventure Wits. Typically goes for $25 as noted, but is available for free right now. So go check that out. Again, available directly on Steam. Uh, moving on from that, if you do have a Prime Gaming subscription, you'll want to note that you can get the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind Game of the Year Edition, and it will redeem through GOG. I will leave a link on that. I know Amazon Prime is something a lot of you guys have. It's not necessarily free. Like, nobody signs up for Prime for the Prime Gaming content. It's just kind of superfluous editions that a lot of people don't take advantage of. I mean... When you actually consider it, like, when it comes to Prime, like, how many people take advantage of the Prime gaming content? Maybe 3%, 5%? That's probably a little bit of a stretch to say 1 in 20 people take advantage of the Prime uh, gaming content. But there's some notable stuff that's getting added all the time, man. When you talk about Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind Game of the Year Edition, that's an awesome freebie to just get. And then, of course, like... Every month, you've got stuff like the League of Legends Prime Gaming Capsule. You've got GTA Online stuff, if you're into that. If you play Raid Shadow Legends, they've got stuff for that. They have uh, League of Legends Wild Rift content. Lost Ark content, of course. I mean, Lost Ark's kind of a meme at this point, but nonetheless. Red Dead Online content, once again, kind of a meme. But, not. Uh, you know, there's a lot of in-game items for a lot of games. PUBG, Fallout 76, Fall Guys. Um, Marvel's Avengers, for those of you that are still playing that. But, uh... Nonetheless, yeah, Prime Gaming, I typically cover the weekly games, and uh, Morrowind is available right now, and it'll redeem through GOG. Should be noted, there are a couple of other titles available. Onsen Ma Master is available right now. Um, that's through the Amazon Launcher, Metal Slug, Last Blade 2, Last Blade, Metal Slug X, King of Fighters 03, SNK 40th Anniversary Collection, Metal Slug 3, Swing the Star Sprites, and Real Bout Fatal Fury 2, the newcomers. Uh, as far as Amazon Luna goes right now, you've got Yakuza Kiwami, WRC Generations Fully Loaded, Potion Burn and Skatebird. So, uh, nothing too crazy. And a lot of you guys don't take advantage of Prime uh, Amazon Luna, and I don't really blame you, to be perfectly honest. Um, but yeah, that is available. Morrowind, most notably available on Prime Gaming. Lastly, I do want to know, today is the last day for the Green Man Gaming Lunar Sale. So, this is a great sale that has discounts on a lot of titles. We talked Spider-Man Remastered at $35.77. That's a star deal. Spider-Man Miles Morales at $29.81. Hi-Fi Rush $24.59 for XP members, but there's a 
ton of other stuff available on top of that. Mafia 2 Definitive Edition, $3.96. Marvel Midnight Suns, 47% off at $31.67. Days Gone at $13.86. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection, $29.04. Wolf Among Us, $5.10. Gotham Knights, $25.50. XCOM 2 Collection, $7.04. A Doom Eternal Deluxe Edition, $14.87. So, just a stack lineup of a lot of great deals and again this sale is ending today and uh yeah gmg always has a lot of great deals and i'm sure they'll be cycling in more stuff in and out um but as far as the lunar sale goes that is of course ending here very very shortly if you're unaware gmg has also got pre-orders opens for some very very hotly anticipated games hogwarts legacy deluxe edition is 15 percent off for 59.49 if you do want to check that out atomic heart is 18 percent off for 49 dollars and 19 cents that of course will be released through xbox game pass as well but if you're not a big game pass guy and you do want to pick it up a little bit cheaper on gmg but mainly want to cover the lunar sale so uh yeah there's a ton of great stuff and games that i didn't even uh mention that were on sale just to go over you know, some of the lower key stuff. Batman Arkham Knight Premium Edition, Batman Arkham Origins, Arkham Knight Premium is 462, Arkham Origins is 385, Outlast is 240, Outlast 2 is 360. Fallout 4 Game of the Year is $8.50. Mad Max is $3.85. XCOM 2, the base game, is $2.64. That's just absolutely ridiculous. Dying Light Definitive Edition is $8.20. So, yeah, just great deals across the board. Doom 2016, $4.25. Wolf Among Us, as I mentioned, $5.10. Evil Within 2 for $6.80. Batman Arkham Knight base game for $3.08. Shadow of War for $5.77. And I can go on and on, but check those deals out for yourself as they are ending today. That is going to do it for me again. Trackmania available as a new free release on Steam. You can download it. You can jump into it. Of course, these Ubisoft games cycling back into Steam. So that is nice to see all things considered, even as much as people do meme on the Ubisoft releases, and rightfully so. They have been pretty lazy releases on Steam, at the very least, as a free one. Cycle Frontier Fortuna Survivor is available free over on Steam. Just additional content for Cycle Frontier, some in-game items. Prime Gaming has Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, and the Lunar New Year sale is ending over on GMG. So definitely take advantage of that. A lot of great deals as a part of that sale, and a lot of stuff super, super cheap. Go to the under $10 section in particular if you want to stay out of budget, but a lot of great stuff there. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out